Hi, my name's Hazel Mills, and here's how to set up a UDO Super 6 with a Roly Seaboard. So in order to connect everything up, firstly, it's worth noting that you will need a computer and a door in order to do this. The great thing is that there is a USB port in the Roly Seaboard, so that makes it nice and easy to connect to your computer. And then what you'll need to do is come out of your computer and back into the Super 6, which you can do either with a MIDI cable, if you have a MIDI interface, or USB. Now, before delving into your door and getting that set up, there's one thing that you need to check with the Super 6, and that is that it is set to MPE mode. Now, you access that through Shift and the MPE button, and it gives you three options here. And the first one is what switches MPE on. If the light is solid, it means that it's on. It's worth mentioning that this is on a per patch basis. So if you were to then change to a different patch, then MPE won't necessarily be on. You would need to turn it on for each individual patch. So some doors may require a little tweaking in the MIDI preferences just to make sure that they are receiving messages from your devices. So if you head into MIDI preferences, make sure that those devices are selected and that also MPE is selected for those devices as well. So then what you'll need to do is create a MIDI track that is set to receive MIDI from the Rolly Seaboard, which you do in the input, the MIDI input drop-down menu, and then set the MIDI output to send to the Super 6. And do make sure that you remember to change the MIDI channel in the drop-down menu to MPE. The final part of this process is that you need to open up the software that comes with the Seaboard as there are a couple of settings in there that you can only access through the software and not on the unit itself. So within the software, which is called Dashboard, you'll be able to change a number of settings, but there are two that are quite important ones to get you going on this. And the first one is to make sure that the MIDI mode is set to MPE. And then we would also recommend that you set the slide mode to relative bipolar. So now what the Seaboard is giving you is these extra dimensions of expression, which are the Y axis, which opens the filter, the X, which bends the pitch, and pressure, which gives you aftertouch. And you can set up aftertouch in the same way that you normally would with the Super 6, either through Modassign to modulate an array of parameters or through LFO2. You might notice that it's quite sensitive with the Seaboard in triggering the aftertouch and it's quite hard to trigger a note without the aftertouch triggering straight away. And what you can do in the Super 6 is create a threshold so that it doesn't kick in until you reach a certain degree of pressure and you get to that through Shift MPE and it's the second of the three options. Have fun and see you next time.